here we go. Back again. Back again. All right. And like I did mention the other day, I wanted to cover this journal or paper that has been published by no other than the go-to, the CDC. Uh, they know it all, the experts, right? I did see it from, uh, it was from John Rappaport, a fantastic journalist. Uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you follow jo John Rappaport on Twitter or nomorefakenews.com. Now, I did cover an article from John's website uh, previously, as you can see, two months ago. Does wearing a mask trigger a positive COVID test or a false positive test even, right? And of course, uh, it does straight up. And in terms of the tests themselves, oh my God, they are an absolute comedy roadshow. And I did see uh, somebody had tested. We have discussed fruit testing positive before, but once again, someone tested an apple that they had. And would you believe it? It tested positive, right? And I did also see, I uh, shit you not, someone sent away a swab that hadn't even been used and it tested positive, right? So yeah, fucking the tests are an absolute joke. But in terms of that video, my brother, Scottish comrade, Rebel Without a Pause, he did share or mirror that video. So thanks very much to him once again. But uh, YouTube, they fucking removed it. Now, ain't that a surprise? But as, as I make this, uh, my video that I did put up, the original version, is still there uh, for the time being. But in terms of this article, as you can see, Dr. Tom Cowan explores the COVID virus invented out of sheer nonsense, right? As we, as we do know, of course, but now a vir virologist is even telling us. And yeah, it's by John Rappaport, October 19th. The hits keep coming. The CDC used an arbitrary computer tinker toy process to invent a description of the virus. The virus that no one has proven exists. This is the basic conclusion of Dr. Tom Cowan. Right, so yeah, they've used computer modelling to make up the virus, basically. And this is Dr. Cowan here being quoted from his, his article, which I will indeed link in. It said, the CDC journal article was published in June 2020. Original publication, March 2020. The purpose of the article was for a group of about 20 virologists to describe the state of the science of the isolation, purification and biological characteristics of the new SARS-CoV-2 virus and to share this information with other scientists for their own research. Right, a thorough and careful reading of this important paper reveals some shocking findings. Ain't that a surprise? First, in the section titled Whole Genome Sequencing, we find that rather than having isolated the virus and sequencing the genome from end to end, they found 37 base pairs from unpurified samples using PCR probes. This means they actually looked at 37 out of the approximately 30,000 of the base pairs that are claimed to be the genome of the, of the intact virus, right? They then took these 37 segments and put them into a computer program which filled in the rest of the base pairs. Right, so it's basically made up. It's anybody's fucking guess, really. Let's face it. In other words, 
the sequencing of this SARS-CoV-2 virus was done by assumption and arbitrary inference. If this is science, a penguin is a spaceship, right? Sure. And yeah, of course, the science that we get today, it's nothing but lies and deception and assumptions, which is, of course, the mother of all fuck-ups. And it continues, to me, this computer generation step constitutes scientific fraud. Here is an equivalency. A group of researchers claim to have found a unicorn because they found a piece of a hoof, a hair from a tail, and a snippet of a horn. Right. They then add that information into a computer and program it to recreate the unicorn. And they then claim this computer recreation is the real unicorn. Of course, they had never actually seen a unicorn, so could not possibly have examined its genetic makeup to compare their samples with the actual unicorn's hair, hooves and horn. Right, so it's fantasy. The virus uh, has not been isolated. Like we have said in the past, uh, it's a spoof. It's a hoax. It's nowhere near a pandemic. Uh, a real pandemic is the suicides, the drug deaths, the overdoses, right? The cancer rates. That is real pandemics. The mental health problems right across the world. That is a real fucking pandemic. Now, I'm not, I'm not also saying that people do not get ill because they do. But what I would indeed question is the reasoning for someone becoming ill. Because it, 100% it will not be how they tell us, right? Because, again, it's nothing but lies and deception from the people that we put in these positions of power. And to stick with the article... It continues, the researchers claim they decided which is the real genome of, so of SARS-CoV-2 by consensus. Sort of like a vote, right? I'm sure it was uh, through democracy in action. Again, different computer programs will come up with different versions of the imaginary unicorn. So they come together as a group and decide which is the real imaginary unicorn, right? So, yeah, take your pick. It uh, could be anybody's guess. Of course, it's all fantasy. He then continues, The real blockbuster finding in this study comes later, a finding so shocking that I had to read it many times before I could believe what I was reading. <laughs> Let me quote, the passage intact. Now, to me, or to the average Joe, if you like, on the street, a lot of this, what is quoted from the CDC, well, it doesn't really make much sense. And if I said it did, I would indeed be telling porky pies, right? So we will cut to the chase, or if you like, get to the meat, the juicy bit. Right? But, uh, yeah, of course, to me and you, possibly you, but definitely to me, a lot of this uh, makes not much sense. But, of course, to someone who has studied biology and written over five books, then, yeah, it makes a lot of sense to them. And he says, The shocking thing about the above CDC journal quote is that using their own methods, the virologists found that solutions containing SARS-CoV-2, even in high amounts, were not, I repeat, not infective to any of the free human tissue cultures they tested. Right. In plain English, this means they proved, on their terms, that this new coronavirus is not infectious to human beings. It is only infective 
to monkey kidney cells. And only then, when you add two potent drugs known to be toxic to kidneys to the mix. Right, so yeah, what exactly are they fucking doing here, right? Because there certainly is no virus, not that they can prove, that is for sure. And he then says, my friends, read this again and again. These virologists published by the CDC performed a clear proof on their terms showing that the SARS-CoV-2 virus is harmless to human beings. That is the only possible conclusion, but unfortunately, this result is not even mentioned in their conclusion. Ain't that a surprise? They simply say they can provide virus stocks cultured only on monkey viral cells. Thanks for coming. So this uh, cultured uh, stocks of the virus from the monkey cells, I'd imagine that is the, the vaccine that they are now testing in these challenge trials because it is happening, that is for sure. So yeah, that is great stuff from John Rappaport and Dr. Tom Cowan, who I will link his website in, and indeed, uh, nomorefakenews.com. As you can see, there is part of Dr. Tom Cowan's bio. And yeah, this guy, he knows his stuff, right? So I think we will now follow the work of Dr. Tom Cowan. So thank you very much to him. And of course, the fantastic journalist, John Rappaport. And this is indeed the mentioned article from the CDC, which if you would like to have a look at it, I will indeed link it in. All right. And yeah, that is about it for today. I likely will be back on Friday with the Friday fix. If not, tomorrow, right? But definitely on Friday. And yeah, Ian Brown. Uh, Ian Brown is one of my favourite people at the moment. And this tweet is from him, I believe, today. Politicians are the entertainment, entertainment division of the military industrial complex. Frank Zappa. Right, and that is indeed what politics or politicians, that's what they are. It's nothing but a circus. It's a complete theatre, right? And they, they have no control over nothing. And they are there only through their own greed. You will never see a poor politician. That is for sure. There is, you will find plenty, plenty poor people. But you will, I can bet you any fucking money you want, you will not find a poor politician. Right, straight up. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to, as, as well, thank everyone who subscribed and has uh, has been engaging with the channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it and I do enjoy uh, engaging with my subscribers. It's fantastic, I love it. And I would like to thank everyone. And in terms of YouTube or Google, if you like, well, they can go and take a flying fuck, right? They are absolute bastards. And yeah, they have been. I noticed I don't really look at my sub count that much, but a few people have mentioned that YouTube seemed to be playing about with it, which comes as uh, no surprise whatsoever. If I am honest, I ne and this is no lie, I never ever expected to get any more than about 500 subscribers, and that is the God's honest truth, right? But yet, here I am. But in terms of YouTube, uh, I looked back on a few uh, statistics in terms of my videos from over uh, the past year, right? And from what I could see and going by the statistics, um, it looks like YouTube done something to my channel. Uh, I sort of hit a high point 
uh, it was when I was making videos about empty hospitals and something seemed to happen and then basically the channel flatlined and yeah something definitely happened for sure so I think I must have been put on the naughty list right happy days uh, I must be seeing something right for sure anyway thanks again to everyone and I will catch you on Friday right so go out have a bit of fun and do not wear a fucking mask all right and that is about it bye bye